Intereconomic news coming from Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb that affects the whole state, especially northwest Indiana. Holcomb says a new round of funding will allow the state to push further on some major economic projects. Reporter Ann Lurie has the story. Governor Eric Holcomb joining state and local leaders in Elkhart County to talk about Indiana's economic future. Goshen Mayor Gina Lichty and the Chamber of Commerce thanking Holcomb for his initiatives they say are driving economic success throughout the state. Announced today the rolling out of Ready 2.0, the second round of an initiative that dedicated money to investments into economic growth. There were a number of projects in this area that, uh, that were priority but they had so many, which was a good thing, they don't have to start from, from a stop or a standstill. And so I think that as the region comes together and reviews what they submitted the last time and look at and, and takes a hard look at all those projects they couldn't get to, some of those will be pushed into round two. Holcomb also announcing that Indiana's Applied Research Institute, which includes the University of Notre Dame, was selected for millions of dollars of funding for research. In the area of developing um, the, our microelectronics uh, ecosystem, this is about 32.9 million in this first round. It's a five-year program. Um, so these could be some of the biggest federal grants that the state of Indiana has received at some of our universities to work on. The governor adding that he does check in on the progress of a Potato Creek State Park Lodge, saying it will be completed and that it will be the first project of its kind in more than 80 years, but that Indiana has a number of capital assets. Again, that was Anne Lurie reporting. Holcomb says Wednesday's attendance by the Goshen community was the biggest he's seen for an event like that and that he's excited for the economic growth in Indiana's future.